All right, this is another late night edition. Um, but I think the beautiful thing about making these videos is uh, I can do it as many as I want and whenever I want. And it'll be viewed whenever you view it. So good for me because that means I can be productive no matter what time of day it is. Um, I wanted to share some quick thoughts about um, just basically how long it'll take to have success. When will it finally be time for everything to come full circle and come to fruition? I think first thing, first things first, we need to dispel the idea that um, that success is a one-time thing. It's uh, it's definitely something that will happen um, like as many times as you choose to make the right choices, success will follow that, um, that chain of events. And the goal is that success will happen every day all the time constantly um that's the goal but obviously we're not perfect but the idea should never be that we build up to a success and that's the culminating um moment of our all our efforts successes should happen all the time that's just my opinion but um just something i wanted to explain is that just me personally i thought i've i guess i've developed to be a hard worker and i the, the hard work isn't even the biggest thing. I think for me, um, my level of belief is like beyond belief. Um, just kidding. It's uh, my my level of belief is is insanely high. I've come to find um, what I thought was normal was what was um, maybe beyond other people's capacity to believe. Um, and my belief is so strong. It's it's almost like I know that success and um, any kind of like let's of goodness let's say safety security good health um good relationships good things in life i know they're going to come and not only that i've spent enough time learning about god learning about myself to know how they're going to come and so that's my biggest uh, motivation for making these videos is to share my vision with the world just because i hope it can help someone else um in my life everything that it's because I have so many ideas in here. It's um, it's almost like I have a whole database of just ideas and, and possibilities, hopes and dreams locked up and stored away. Um, I guess whenever I have the opportunity to get my hands um, in action and to do something instead of just thinking about it, everything I touch turns into something good. Um, whether or not it's perfect, it's uh, like obviously it's not going to be perfect, but um, every time I see an opportunity, and not only that, every time I get to do it the way I want to do it, um, it always works out. It's not because of me. I'll, I'll promise you that. It's not because of me. It's just because of all the things that God has given me. Um, my biggest strength is that is my willingness to follow God. I guess, I guess to be willing to be, um, to be guided and to be used in certain ways because he has a superior vision that I have, do not have. Um, so every time I've had a success in life, it's because I did what I thought he, God, would want me to do. And every time it ends up working out. And when it doesn't work out, um, it's because I didn't get to do it the way I wanted to do it. Which, again, that interpreted that means the way I want to do it is I want to follow God. So if I do what I want to do, I know I'm also doing what he wants to do. And every time I've tried to do my best at doing something he wanted me to do, and I get to do it the way I want, is when everything works out. And it comes back to that level of belief I have, um, not in my own abilities. I know I'm I'm a piece of garbage when it comes to um, my own self. Not like um, not saying I'm a bad person, but everything it's like my my soul and my identity is good. My my soul is full of light. Everything around me, my body, my my thoughts, my um, that like everything that that pertains to like to this earth, that everything that came from this earth is corrupt, is um, prone to mistakes, to be misguided. Um, but whenever I focus on him and focus on the light that's inside of me is when everything good comes to be. So the question I want to pose to everyone listening, even if it's five people, even if it's a million people, hopefully more. Um, how much time do you need? Not how much time do you want? You know, it's like, how much time could it take? It's not the right question to ask. How much time do you need to get something done, to do what God needs you to do? Um, an analogy I was thinking about today, because every time it's warm weather outside, um, I just see the basketball hoop in my driveway and I just have to shoot. I just, and I keep shooting. And if I miss, that makes me want to shoot even more. And I keep shooting and shooting and shooting. And normally I have to make like a, a few consecutive shots before I can just say, okay, that's good. And I'll go inside. Um, I think life 
is a lot about that a lot like basketball where um from far away the hoop looks like um like small if that makes sense like the ball can only go in a certain way or else it's not going to go in um but if you if you've ever seen maybe two people shooting uh, at the same time um sorry i'm kind of tired and the balls both go into the hoop at the same time they get stuck you know that a basketball hoop can hold two balls it the, the the um the diameter of the hoop is is wide enough to to admit two basketballs at the same time not only that it's circular so maybe you could fit like like um if you want to talk about total um the area of the of the cylinder or i guess or the 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 rim it, it turns out that you can like theoretically if the balls are really squished, you could put like maybe four, if that makes sense. But it's like, it's this ginormous hoop. And even from far away, it's like, you still have a chance. You could hit the left side of the of the hoop, the right side of the hoop, the back end or the front end, and it could all go in. Um, basically to miss, you have to either be short by like two basketball lengths or or too far or to the, to the side or whatever. Either way, you were off by like, by several lengths of a basketball. To have missed the hoop if you get even close and hit the rim um so i think life is like this where you can shoot and you practice shooting and instead of hoping to make one shot when you practice you're obviously hoping to make as many shots as possible and when you miss a shot it doesn't mean that you just stop shooting um and on the on the opposite end it doesn't mean that um that when you make a shot, that's when you're good, when you're done. You you finish basketball because you made a shot. Life is about taking as many shots as possible, but not only that, the best basketball players are the ones that have a um a focus on and the, a drive to not only make um like like shoot the shots, but to make as many as possible, and then to analyze what's the best way to shoot the basketball so I can make the most amount of shots, and those are the people that win. Um, and same way with life. So. Again, I want you to evaluate where you're at in life and what's the next step you want to take. Don't ask, like, how long could it take? Like, let's say you need to put up, um, let's say, a, a total of 10,000 shots before you get really good at shooting basketball. Um, you can do that in 10 years. You can do that 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, as long as you want to take. Um, unless you want to go work hard, you can get it done a lot faster. It's like, it all depends. If there's a certain amount of something you need to do, um, it's not just going to take one time doing it. It's going to take many tries, many um, effort, uh, or I guess many hours and effort put into it. You're going to have to determine not how much time could it take, but how much time does God need you to take? Because I guarantee you that this, you don't have an unlimited amount of time. Time is running short these days. We're getting close to the end. So that's as much as I wanted to say, I guess. Um, I guess I, I should probably mention it. The reason why, because... Sometimes I hold myself back from saying certain things because I don't want to jinx it and I don't want it to not come true. But I should probably just be honest and open and let this stand as a record that I believe I can make it big doing exactly what I'm doing, sharing my thoughts. Um, God has promised me if I will do what he says and if I will do it how he asked me to do it and do my best, obviously, like um, nothing less, but also nothing more. I can't do more than my best. He will bless me with uh, the opportunity to have millions of people listen to my voice, listen to my thoughts and ideas and be inspired. And as of right now, that's not the case only because um, it, like I haven't developed in the right way yet, if that makes sense. I get the sensation that God wants me to develop as a person first and get to a point where when the fame and fame as in attention comes, it's not going to change me. And I don't know if that's to say that it would at this moment. I have no idea, but that's why I'm not going to find out until I'm ready for it. And if I never get ready for it, I don't think it will come. But I do hope that this year will be the year. If it's not this year, next, the next year after that. Whatever year, as, as long as I work hard, I, I could take 10 years to, to build up this platform and to get as many viewers as possible. Or I could do it all in one. It just depends on how I let God change me. So yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Is turning into the person... And, this is a problem I have right now is that in my past, I've had experiences where people um, have disagreed with my way of thinking, my way of doing things, and it's caused contention and conflict, uh, confliction or conflict, yeah, conflict between us. Um, 
basically i have a lot of people that i would deem to be somewhat of haters you know but everyone has those and at, at many times and we are the are the haters as well you have to be also um self-accountable in that regard um anyway in my head i get really worked up but not, not like um not like super angry but just motivated because i want to make sure i prove myself to everyone that's that's ever known me so that at, at some future point they can look back and realize that that I had something that um, that was special, and but that's that's the wrong way to look at it. That it totally is, and I I have to tell myself that every time. Um, and it's not something I want to keep doing, but it's just something that my mind just tends to drift back to it, just because that's it's a natural thing that you want to prove yourself. But um, so that's the the reason why I'm going to explain it. the reason why that's the last thing that should motivate you is because you have to realize. What you think that other people see you as is a projection of your own self-consciousness, like your insecurities you're projecting onto other people, thinking like, oh, they think this about me, or they they said this about me, that, that means they must think this about me. Without them having actually voiced that, um, that sentiment, you're projecting it onto them. So it's like, you could be totally trying to satisfy or fulfill a false image of success and chasing that because it's not a accurate um projection of a reality you might never be satisfied with that pursuit so really my, my i have to get to the point where my motivation my intention is all 100 percent pure and based on helping other people which it is but it has to be only that and only serving god and only maximizing my potential and i hope that everyone that um that I've disagreed with in the past or had any sort of arguments with or anything about about how to do things, I hope we can all just realize that we're imperfect and we're trying to find the answer together. I don't have all the answers, and neither does anyone else. Um, but I'm just trying to do my best to be an example first before I just, before I talk the talk, I need to walk the walk. And so that's why I don't talk about this too much. The fact that I really do believe I'll have millions of su subscribers, viewers, whatever, um, I don't talk about it like that. This is the first time I've ever mentioned it because I really just, I do believe strongly in the fact that people will want to hear about it after I've done something, not before. I can't, like, people that just talk are, are deemed crazy, I guess. Crazy and, um, I'll try to think of a good word, but anyway, I'm, I just need to go to bed, honestly. That is it. Um, I, I want to bless you all if I, if I can. Um, if God lets me, I want to bl bless you guys, all you guys that are listening to, to fulfill your dreams, but only to do it in the way that God wants you to do it. And if you don't do it in the way that God wants you to do it, I bless you that you're not going to fulfill your dreams. That sounds like a bad thing to say, but really fulfilling God's plan is the greatest thing you'll ever do. And it will bring you the most happiness. So you shouldn't want to do it any other way. And that's it for me. See you guys later.